Okay, so for me as a designer, um, it's been a lot of fun. My designs actually started um, last January. I used to be a fashion photographer and that's all I focused on and I felt, hey, I turned 50. I wanted to do a little bit of a change in my life, um, which is why I think this collection is so good for Fashion Art Toronto because it's about movement and how things change in life. I always had in the back of my mind, I really, really uh, wanted to do leggings but I never really got around to doing it. And then I had a shoot with Judith Maria Bradley. If anyone knows her, she's like a fun, vibrant personality. And she told me, hey Michelle, you gotta do it. Just follow your dreams, go for it. I got this friend, Michelle. She's a photographer. She also does artwork. So I said to her, hey, take that shit and put it on fabric. Now she's doing a fashion show. And from there, I started designing scarves. And you can see the scarf here is from one of my paintings. Um, but then I met this really cool girl here. Hi. Um, Leah Evans, and she's a designer also. We did a shoot together with Monica Schnarr, the supermodel of Canada. I'm just so excited to shoot with her. And uh, oh, Lee, so was, fun. Lee was my assistant. And I thought, oh my God, I love this girl. She rocks. So I thought, how great would it be to have her help me do tops for this collection? And maybe some big throws, add a little bit of drama. Um, because, as we know, everything is better together. Everything's better together. Leah did this for me, which is this beautiful soft cotton top, and then I hand painted it to add a little bit of my style on it. Okay, so right now I'm going to try and message my friend Leanna Kiddo from Australia, and she's a friend of mine, designer, and um, she had helped me make a couple of tops for the show. It was actually funny. She actually sent me a green top as a Christmas gift for me, and she thought I could fit it. There's no way I'm fitting into it. So I asked her if I could paint it and then use it as part of the collection and she said, of course. So I'm gonna try and call her now. Hey, there she is, look, so this is the camera. I'm getting video. Oh my God, it's so good to see you in person. Likewise. Um, we're very happy to have you um, as designer for Ajita Fashion participating uh, in the show. Um, as one of my dear friends, I was telling everybody that we met uh, online a few years ago and we become friends. So it's very exciting, right? All the connections we can make. So for my runway show, it's very important for me not only to have very beautiful models who know how to walk the runway, but personal stories are very important to me. Connections I make are very important to me. So today I have with me here Ashlyn Gonzalez, she's a gorgeous girl. Hi. And we met in uh, 2015. Yeah. Um, so Ashlyn has a special condition. She has alopecia. Do you want to tell us a little bit what that is? So alopecia is a condition where you're allergic to your hair, so it falls out. Um, I had it since I was about five, six years old. My hair started falling out, and then by the time I was seven, it was pretty much all gone. So as opposed to my hair, my house with this, I mean, it's beautiful hair, but it's a wig. So yeah. I said, Ashlyn, please take off your wig. I want to see what your head looks like. And then look at this. Look at this gorgeous. Look at this gorgeous head. Look, it's like a perfect, perfect, perfect <laughs> head. So I said, we have to do the shoot and forget the wig. I said, are you comfortable with that? So she said, yes, let's do it. Yeah. And her mom was so proud of her because I think it was the first shoot she did without a wig. Yeah, it was. And uh, then I introduced her also to my friend, Leslie Hampton, and yeah. she modeled for Leslie as well. So one of the reasons I love Fashion Art Toronto is they're really accepting of people of all kinds. It doesn't matter your race, your height, your weight. Um, or any disabilities that you might have. They really welcome everybody, and that's fantastic. Uh, so this is actually where I met um, Anahita, was at FAT. She's so cool. Um, every single night of FAT, she was dressed according to the theme of that night. So I was like, I have to talk to this girl. So I went to talk to her, and I said, oh my god, you so should be um, a model on the runway. Because I find, especially for a lot of people who are in wheelchairs, some of them think that the fashion sense is not for them. Uh, and they just want to wear a practical because it must be hard to get dressed, right? Yep. Um, so when I saw Anahita, I thought to me, she's such an inspiration. Uh, she's going to be my show. I, I told her my story and I told her how I would love to do a runway and she's making my dreams come true. So oh, that's awesome. You're so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Aww, that's <laughs> exciting. Yeah. And I hope everyone has real loud when she comes down. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. awesome. Better, Better together. together.